Today is a lovely day because today is a windy day. I'm a miller and I need wind to make my windmill turn. This is a very special windmill here at Denver. It's the last one in Norfolk that still works. It was built in 1835. Windmills are very, very simple things. They're just a big, tall tower, like a chimney, with a cap on the top, with sails on it to catch the wind. Once they've caught the energy of the wind, they use that energy to turn the stones round and grind the corn. If you look up there now against the blue sky, there's four great big white shuttered sails turning gently, evenly and beautifully in the sunlight. They weigh about two and a half tonnes each and they turn round there as light as a feather. We make the flower by putting the seeds in between two great big stones. They're about three feet, a metre round, and each of them weighs about as much as a car. They have to be that heavy to crush the seeds small enough to make flour, because the seeds are actually very strong. type of wind is really important. Sounds silly, but you can hear what sort of wind is blowing. And you can hear the wind blowing across the sails. Whenever we work, we always look out the window, look out the door, which is why we have doors and windows all around on this floor, to see how fast they're turning. We don't want the stones to go around faster than 100 or 120 times a minute at the very most. Think about 120 times a minute, there's two times a second, and each stone weighs a tonne. The sails go at about one-tenth that speed, so if the stones are turning a hundred times a, uh, a minute, then the sails are turning ten. So what we do is look out the window and count every six seconds. We've got a nice wind coming straight across the fen, nice and steady, so we count one going now, now, and then the next one comes now, and now. That's nice and gentle and easy. Stones are turning nicely, there's no strain on it, she's not creaking or complaining, that's just how we like her to mill. You're aware all the time when the mill is working of the sails turning, and if you don't see them straight out the window, you see the shadow going across on every floor, you see the shadow on the yard. And if anything goes wrong, whether they go too fast or something breaks, and quickly you're in the mill and you put the brake on, you stop it to find out what's going on. We bring the sacks up on the sack hoist and then just tip this into here so it can feed down to the stones below. There's still another bag going in. So on a day like today, We'll probably have to put 40 of these in. Right, and here goes another 25 kilos of grain into the hopper. I'll keep her going for another half hour. Every variety of wheat is unique in individual as far as we're concerned. Paragon is a very dark, strong, nutty, sweet variety of wheat. Makes a really nice, strong flour. Whereas the Magister is much brighter and lighter and makes a really nice, easy to eat loaf. And they're all different. Every one of them is different. And we think it's important to be able to distinguish between the different ones so people can make their own flavours up. Whereas the, the mainstream flour industry is about always having it taste the same. If you think about it, grinding, think what the word means, it's quite aggressive, it means really twisting stuff around and breaking it up, and of course the amount of energy involved in that generates quite a lot of heat. So the flour is warm as it comes out. Now, how we test how it's actually milling is to take a little bit of the flour out as it comes out from the stones. Tipping that onto your hand now, can you feel it warm? because it's about two seconds old. 
the wheat that you saw falling in the stones as we just came down the steps there is that flour now. And it's that simple. You put wheat in between the stones, it grinds the whole lot of them up into wholemeal flour, and then it just comes down into the bag. And that's it. I hope after all that you've been able to see, hear and feel why seeds are so fascinating. We use different seeds for different flowers. Wheat flour, barley flour, we make oat flour. And once we made the flour, we then get semolina from it, we get bran from it, we can mix them together to get all sorts of different flavours and different types of bread. We can use whole seeds in bread. We can use crushed seeds, we can use rolled seeds, all sorts, all adding different flavours and textures so that we can enjoy the bread that we eat. So next time you go into the shop and you look at flour on a shelf, you'll see there's all sorts of different types of flour. There's the self-raising flour and there's plain flour and there's strong flour. All these different flours all came from seeds grown on farms and sent to either old windmills like ours or more likely modern roller mills to make those different flours from those seeds. Without the seeds, no flour.